Hey there, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. My name is Raven and today we are going to be doing a little bit of planning for December, a little bit of a catch up. I know I have not been uploading consistently the last couple of months. Things just got kind of hectic and I have really just been wanting to craft more and not film as much. So starting off with this whole planning situation, I still have not purchased a new bullet journal after I filled it up in the middle of November. I'm probably gonna get one this weekend since that wasn't gonna be in time to to film. I just decided to go ahead and do the digital part of my planning. If you're new here, I really like having paper planning to sort of just brain dump and get everything out. And then I completely clarify everything by using digital tools such as Google Calendar and Notion. For my Google Calendar, I just wanted to switch everything over to a blue color scheme because it just feels nice and pretty and festive for Yule. And then I deleted all of my repeating work block. This was really just to help me get rid of extra notifications and to make me use my calendar more intentionally and put in my blocks of time. And if I am having one of those days where I don't want to put in blocks of time. Uh, normally those days also coincide with, I don't want a notification of what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I just want to do what feels good in the moment. I didn't really feel the need to keep all of those blocks. I might put them back some point in the future. Who knows? It's winter. Winter depression is just loud. Moving into Notion, I wanted a blue color scheme there as well. And I will be linking the Pinterest posts that I got the gifts that I used down below. I also went ahead and added weekly trackers for my morning and nightly routines. Then I changed some of the larger blocks of text in my dashboard into toggle lists to make it easier to filter through. I felt like I didn't need to have all of the days of the week with those bullet points all at once because it just got really hard to read, especially since they weren't all equal lengths and you can't really adjust things on Notion very well, or at least I feel like I can't. I cannot make Notion look pretty, and I really wish I could because like some of the, the spreads that I see are just so pretty. You guys are just freaking magicians or something. wanted to list a few of my current favorite things without going too overboard, but um, there's definitely a theme for all of the things that I picked because I am like really excited about all of the seasonal stuff this year. I don't even like coffee creamer, but I even added a coffee creamer into my favorites, so that's kind of weird. But other than the eggnog, everything is peppermint because it is just, it, it's minter and I'm really excited about it. I will say that as far as the Mrs. Myers go, um, really I'm just excited about the experience of finding them in the store and I have actually not been using them to clean very much because I feel like they haven't been cleaning as thoroughly as I need and I've used their products in the past so I'm kind of confused about it. Either way, moving on to some of my current projects, all of the things that I have been knitting and crocheting. I have made myself a desk mat out of some cotton yarn that I had on hand. I had some purple but I really wanted to add in more pops of color than just black and purple so I went ahead with 
a blue cotton. I wanted something bigger than a coaster because I normally have a glass of water and my coffee or tea or whatever it is I'm drinking. It's just one coaster never really made sense. I also have been crocheting myself these cord wraps, basically just out of like any random scrap yarn that I think will look pretty with my desk set up because I keep forgetting to order something to get my cables all in check and it is getting to the point where my Cricut and my sewing machine were tied together and it was it was bad. It was really bad. So I really needed to give myself some form of control and so I am just using the yarn to wrap everything and it's been helping so far. I've got so many cables though. I, I don't know how I have this many cables. I also finished the hat that I showed you guys last month and I'm basically just working on the ears now, which I have done a couple of ears that I wasn't happy with the size with, so I'm really trying to narrow down the size before I make a pair of them. I'm also working on these Sesame Street hats for a friend of a friend. All I'll say about this yarn is that the Big Bird yarn reminds me reminds me of ketchup and mustard and it kind of bothers me to no end to be working on it so i'm glad that i picked that one first to get it out of the way i've also been trying to reread a high school favorite because i am trying to fall back in love with reading in a way that is not just all about escapism and uh, coping i'm really excited about that and i also have been working on this painting for my coffee bar. I did decide that I hate most of how the flowers came out and once I figured out what it was that I hated it other than just the fact that it was me who painted it, I uh, will be showing you more of the process in a future day in the life that'll come up in a couple of weeks I think. But other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day or that tomorrow is better. I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!